Hey fam, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So for those of you who are finding my channel for the very first time, my name is Marshawn and I'm your life and relationship strategist. I help men and women alike to create the relationship that they want, need, and desire by helping them to simply implement strategies and simple tips so they can create that relationship. So now today we are going to talk about four reasons why you should not hold back your emotions in your relationship right after this. All right, fam, thanks so much for coming back. So now, four reasons why it is detrimental to holding back your emotions within your relationship. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start off. The very first one is because it actually creates emotional dishonesty. It does. Who wants to be on the receiving end of feeling like they've been bamboozled? Because you're saying one thing, you're doing one thing, but all of this, all of your emotional states, is not matching up. And so it creates emotional dishonesty when you hold back your emotions within your relationship. The second thing to think about is that you'll end up hurting someone that you care about or even selling yourself short because you're holding back. And the person is really trying to pull you in like, you know, let go, release, enjoy what we what we have here together. But for some reason, you're holding back and you're like, you're scared. And maybe it's because you didn't give her that baggage that I always talk about. Or maybe because, you know, you've been hurt, which is baggage. But it's, it's terrifying for you to let down your guard, for you to start busting that wall that you got around your heart. It's hard for you to do that. And because of that, you end up selling yourself short. Because that person was really into you, but they can't they can only feel so close to you because you're only letting them get so close to your heart and all of a sudden there's no more. You you stonewall them. You become stoic. You're like, mm. Kind of like, I don't care, even though deep down inside you really do. But because you're so terrified of being hurt, of feeling the pain that you felt once before, so you hold back in your relationship. Not realizing that you're actually hurting the other person as well as yourself. The third thing to think about is when you hold back within your relationship, you actually cause tension within your relationship. And you're wondering why you guys are having the same talk argument all the time about whatever the talk or argument is. You're having the same conversation over and over again. And I'm sure a lot of times this particular argument or talk is about how come you won't let me in? Why you keep shutting me out? I'm just here to help. I'm trying to be on your team, trying to be on your side. They're constantly pleading for you to let them into your world completely. And so again, going back to point number two, you end up hurting someone that you care about as well as hurting yourself and even possibly losing out on that relationship because after a while, after you've been stonewalled so many times, after you have shut down so many times on your partner, they, feel, they figure, why am I here? How much more does he think I can take of this? How much more does she think I can take of this? I can only do so much. I am only so valuable in their life. They don't trust me enough to let down my guard. They don't trust me enough to not put me in the shoes of everybody else. They don't trust me enough not to punish me for someone else's mistake. They don't trust me enough to give me a 100% in the beginning and then let me chip away. All I start at 50%, which is why that wall is up, versus starting at 100%, versus saying, you know what, he ain't done nothing to me, so I'm going to let him chip away at his 100%, and then we'll see if we need to stay together, depending on how much he chipping away at that 100%, or her. How much is she chipping away at that 100%? No, we end up giving them like, hmm. Well, all women do this, so all men do that, and so ain't nobody about to get me like they got me before. You're setting yourself up for failure. The fourth thing to think about when you're holding back in your relationship, let's talk about it. Maybe you're not even in a relationship because you don't like 
titles. You don't like labels. You don't like titles. So now you've been holding back by calling this person your girlfriend, by calling this person your boyfriend. Not realizing, again, that you end up hurting someone that you really care about. You really want to let down the walls around your heart. But something just keeps holding you back from doing it. And all of it is because no, none of us want to feel the pain. But relationships are about growth. And the only way you can grow in your relationship is if you actually have a relationship that you can grow in. Give it a title. Because you're doing everything. You're doing everything like you're in a relationship. But you don't want to take on the responsibility that giving out the title comes with. Or having the title comes with, I should say. So you dibble and dabbling. And then if you mess up or if they get mad, you can always throw that. Well, we ain't boyfriend. We ain't girlfriend anyway. In their face. Don't do that. Don't hold back. If it's somebody that you truly like. Ladies and gentlemen, guess what? Relationships are about taking chances. And guess what? The chance could be that you can get your feelings hurt. That you can get your heart broken again. But you'll never know how great it actually can be. If you never let down your guard, if you never let that person in, if you never let that wall down, actually bust it all the way down and let your heart just beat freely and take a chance on love and truly take a chance on love. Instead of holding back your feelings, holding back your emotions, holding back all of the things that you've been wanting to say, holding back all of the things that you've been wanting to do, and even holding back from introducing them to your family, your friends, your loved ones. All right, fam, just think about these points and definitely incorporate them into your life, especially, especially if you are the person who is holding back from being super emotional, from inviting the person into your world completely, from having the title, all of that stuff will kill your relationship over time. I'll see you guys in a future video. Deuces.